Well, Joe, what was your off season like? Um, what were you able to do? And were there any limitations for you this off season more than usual? Uh, so I, I don't know the timing of, of um, I was up in Canada, uh, Ontario, Canada, and um, just west of Toronto. And I'm not sure the timing of, of or the, the name names or, or the timing of, of some of the, um, uh, the, the rules in place, but we did have, you know, I don't know if it's called a lockdown or we did have certainly some limitations, some restrictions. Um, I think for a little stretch there, there was a stay at home and, um, yeah, that's, uh, you know, I followed the rules, uh, you know, by nature, I'm a rule follower. So I, I really tried to um, adhere to the province's um, uh, limitations and, and I tried to follow them respectfully and, and um, I was able to train, I was able to prepare. So there's no excuse on that end. But um, as far as like um, being able to do things, no, but I had a great, great off season in, in terms of preparation for the season. I felt, I feel really well prepared. I feel healthy. I feel strong. And I'm looking forward to taking some of the adjustments I made from last year and uh, some of the, you know, some of the, you know, the good performance and, and carrying that or more into 2021. How much, thank you, uh, how much yeah. did adjustments you made last season? Uh, I think I heard you say you were almost not just for standing up and taller in the box, but you almost were less selective by watching other players. Can you elaborate more on that and how that helped you uh, at the end of last season? Um, so when I first came to came to the league and certainly in the minor leagues, I was a bit more aggressive, you know, um, you know, it's funny when I was a younger player, I, I idolized Todd Helton and Barry Bonds and, uh, you know, a few, a few other modern players uh, of the 90s and or excuse me, of the early 2000s. And I love the great players of the past, you know, the Williams and the Ruths and, you know, Aaron's and Mays. But, um, you know, I, as, as I, when I first uh, played in the minor leagues, I was so dead set on like cutting down my strikeouts because I wanted to be a well-rounded hitter. And eventually, over the past uh, maybe six, seven years, I started really making that adjustment and seeing, seeing that change. And, you know, a player has to have their own challenges, has, has to have their own goals. And I lost some of the things that made me – the. I lost some of the things that I, I – I, I, some of my strengths that I first came to the league with, hitting the ball hard specifically um, – uh, hitting the ball all over the field with with power, uh, being difficult to defend, and I did that in in uh, in exchange for command of the strike zone. Uh, you know, putting the ball in play, being a tough at bat, and it zapped my power. And uh, you know, in seventeen, I played really really well because I had that nice combination of. Uh, Low strikeouts, tons of power, lots of walks. It was like the dream season, of course, for me. And um, I stuck to that the last couple of years. And I, in 19, a little bit, and especially last year, I, I had to let that go and get back to what got me to the league. You know, the adjustments I made last year after the benching were very, very natural to me. You know, I, I've always kind of hit the ball like that stood up taller and you know I'm, I'm back to a kind of a more comfortable place in terms of hitting so it's going to come with of course some more swings and misses and some strikeouts and but as long as I'm I'm productive and as long as I'm dangerous at the plate you know it, it'll 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 pay itself off so I don't even know if I answered your question by the way sorry about that I was just talking about myself no, I think I think you did we're good thank you okay. yeah Is is there a number line that that like the new or return to Joey Votto, whatever you want to say, like like you think that a productive you that, that you could be productive at in in two thousand twenty one would look like? You know, it was funny when I was younger. I really I took for granted um, 
So the answer is I can't I can't give you an answer because I, I don't I I don't know I I don't know I I want to be dangerous at the plate, and uh, I I. I spent a lot of time on that, uh, the baseball savant page. And there's um, a couple of statistics that like all the good hitters are a part of. And it's usually barrels and uh, exit velocity, hard hit percentage, but especially barrels. Like, and I was top two, three, four, five almost every year of my career in, in, in batting average also. And I just got so dead set on, on commanding the strike zone, assuming that, that I was going to help the team that way. So I, listen, I, you know, I led the league in um, extra base hits when I was 18 years old as a newbie from Canada. You know um, I tried to, I have to remind myself that at, at the core, you know, that's who, that's who I am. And uh, I tried to make myself into a, the perfect hitter. And I've had some success with that. Certainly not perfect, but copy my idols. And, um, you know, I'm probably best suited to include some more air and um, get back to my natural approach. Can you? And I did down? last year. I did last year, which is really all that, which is really all that, that gave me confidence last year and certainly this offseason. Now I, I'm as excited as I've been maybe in my major league career to start a major league season. So can you lead the league in bat flips this year? <laughs> Some of these young players, man, they're just so entertaining. And, and I'll say this as I sit here, uh, as, you know, a player that kind of bridges the quote unquote old school, certainly, you know, that's all relative, but the put your head down after a home run, or you might get drilled sort of uh, community and the new, the new one. And let me tell you something. When it's timed right, it's, 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 uh, they're fun. They're fun. You know, I hope, I hope that the, the new generation really carries the fun and really makes it, makes it a sport that everyone gets to enjoy. And sometimes some really cool bat flips are a part of it. So. Joey, what's kind of your reaction to the team's off season in terms of just race all glaciers isn't here anymore. Kirk Sally's gone, Archie Bradley. Um, so I, I, um, you know, um, I think that, um, that's a tough question to answer for me because I, I certainly, I, I, I want to embrace the new players that have joined the team. And I don't want to be dismissive of the players that, that I've played with and I respect it and, and cheered for. I'm always going to be team reds. You know, that's, that's the uniform I wear. So priority number one is whether, how we do. And um, I just, I'm always hoping that this roster is always, always better than the last one. So as, as long as I'm a part of it, that's going to be my answer. And then when I'm not a part of it, then I'll be the GM. So and I'll definitely be cheering for, for the Reds. So, yeah. You mentioned kind of getting some of that power back. Is your goal or one of the expectations for yourself you have this season to be considered a real power hitter? <clears throat> well, I've always been a power hitter. Well, maybe not always. Lord have mercy. The last couple of years, no. But, um, yeah, I just want to get back to being dangerous, difficult to defend. You know, I, I'd hit balls into the shift. And I'd hit it pretty hard and there'd be a step or two to the left for, for a second base or shortstop. And all of a sudden I'd be out. And I was like, what am I doing? Like, this is unsustainable. This, this will never last. So I I've got to, uh, got to hit the ball harder, be more difficult to defend. And I did this last year. So this is an old conversation that, that I think that that's or last year. I refined last year. I'll be better than it, better than the, the back back a little bit of the season just because I've worked on it and I'm, I'll dedicate myself to it and take some time. So I can't wait. I'm so excited. Joey, you can I can tell on. on my face. <laughs> Joey, I hopped on a couple minutes late. So hopefully this hasn't been asked. Um, what, what's the, oh. I think you have a real thoughtful guy. What do you, what do you make of last year? What was the biggest takeaway when you look back at 
how the season went and how it ended. I was just curious what your biggest takeaway was. Well, we started so poorly and we finished with a winning record, which I'm proud of. Um, and then as far as the playoffs, that was obviously a disappointment. We had, we had all the tools to do, to good, to do good things. And, um, you know, every year it's that we don't have a championship. It's, it's disappointing. You know, I I want to come back when I'm done selfishly. I want to come back when I'm done and I don't want, I don't really don't want to come back and celebrate my career. I want to come back and celebrate a championship. I'm, I'm really uh, uncomfortable with any sort of personal adulation. I want it be, of course, because I want to do well but I, I'm, I feel much more comfortable sharing things. And, and I desperately want to come back and be able to celebrate a championship with the city, with, with a team, a shared moment, a shared, a shared moment. And we had a few of those at the very beginning of the playoffs last year. And I'd like the whole, you know, uh, an entire month's worth of those. And, and truly, like, that's, that's what I care about. So uh, I'd like that experience before I'm done playing for sure.